Hi friends! I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I hope you're having a wonderful week. Today we are going to be working on an apartment in um, my apartment building that I built. I did build the apartment off camera because I didn't really know what I wanted to do um, and I was more building it for the apartments inside and not for the exterior. Um, the apartment exterior is kind of based off of some apartments um, near uh, where um, I've seen them near me ish in Texas like they're all over Texas um, so they're kind of based off of that and each apartment is a completely different size and floor plan and yeah I've decorated two so far and uh, there is six I believe one two three four five six seven there's seven I believe um, and yeah I'm really excited for it this is the first one I did and my concept for this one was pink and mint and there is um, a lot of footage that I cut out and don't know if I even recorded it of the beginning of me really messing with the floor plan and the um, wallpapers for a very long time, like hours, trying to figure it out and figure out what I wanted on the walls. Um, and it was just really hard because I really wanted this like pink and mint concept. And I had some inspiration images in my head for like, the, the colors and then it was really hard to get that matched in the sims so this is where we're starting we're starting in the living room and then we kind of I think we leave the living room and come back but I'm not really sure um I did film this a couple or yesterday film this yesterday but I don't remember uh, what order and I just edited it but I think we work on this for a minute and then we come back but we may finish the living room and then go to another room um and then finish it later but I think we finished the living room now but we have this couch from the maximalist kit the um, decor to the max kit we have this um, desk is from high school years and the chair is from the pastel pop kit and then we're using island living counters as like a um, built-in in in the living room under the TV and then this frame TV one worked perfectly with the style and two had the perfect colors and then we get the um, like little record player and some clutter. And then the bookshelves that we use all throughout this apartment are from the book nook kit. And they're just perfect. And we do like little built-ins in the hallway. Um, and I think that it's just really beautiful. And I really love the way this apartment came out. It did take me a bit to figure out, like I said, the wallpapers and stuff. And we do end up using all the wallpapers that you see here. But I do replace a lot of the pink with the mint swatch of the same wallpaper which is from paranormal but now we are on into the kitchen um and i wanted to use the like a mint fridge to kind of bring that color into the space but all these fridges have like the same swatch so i had to figure out what hardware i wanted on the fridge and the stove and everything and we i don't think we use um yeah we use the matching stove and we put it over here and then we get a sink on the left wall and then we get some shelves and because there is no matching um, cabinets to these counters I use the Home Chef Hustle ones and I place them around the whole room and then use like an open shelf next to this open shelf so that um, it didn't look strange because the corner shelf kind of looks weird when you're using all full cabinets around it so I did use um, the corner cabinet and then some shelves that match it next to it and then we clutter that up and um, we just get some kitchen clutter in here and a couple plants. There are a bunch of plants throughout this apartment. I thought it matched really well. Um, this apartment is for two to three Sims, but I imagined it for a single mom and their teen. And they just all, they both really love it. I think that they both really like this style. I feel like one of them, like maybe the mom, really likes pink and the teen really likes mint. So they decorated this apartment together in both of their colors and that's kind of how they went now this apartment is the only apartment that has its own like backyard space everyone else has balconies but no yard space um, because the rest of the outdoor um, ground floor has um, is like communal space uh, so this one has a yard space and a balcony um, now that I'm thinking about it do they have 
No, that one's in another one. Okay. <laughs> they just have one balcony. Um, but they have the, the one and only yard space outside. And we get a lot of planters, which I put some flowers in. And we get a hot tub and some lounge chairs. But we'll get to that at the end. I do think that they have a cat and a dog. I think they have a little dog and a cat that are best friends. So there's a litter box on the balcony. There's um, a scratching post in the um, primary bedroom. And there is a couple of uh, pet beds around the apartment. And I really think that it's just this mom, her teenager, their little dog, and a cat. Um, and I really love that concept and the idea that they brought these two colors that they both love together. Um, this apartment is two bedroom, two bath. And I don't know how much it is because again, it's in a big building. It's not like its own apartment that I can upload as a room. So this will not be on the gallery yet, but when I finish the entire build, the build will be on the gallery um, under Auden Row, A-U-D-Y-N-R-O. Um, so check back on the other builds. I have already decorated one of the apartments, but I think that um, I'm not going to finish this until the new stuff pack comes out because I would love to do at least one of the apartments with that stuff pack as a concept for like a um, person who crafts jewelry for a living. I'm so excited about that stuff pack. It looks so, so pretty and like so much fun. And I think it really gives more use to the crystals and metals and everything in the game. So I'm very excited about it. Um, let me know what you think about it, but I think that it's going to be incredible and I'm really excited. It looks so, so pretty and I'm excited to decorate an apartment in this house for it. So it will be a couple weeks until this build is up on the gallery because I do, um, like I said, want to wait for that stuff pack to come out before I finish this build. Um, so until then, we have a bunch of other apartments to do. And I've already done um, another one, one of the studio apartments. I made a cottage core theme and it looks really, really pretty and I'm really excited for it. But here is the hallway space. We're done with the kitchen now. I did delete some of the walls in the other apartment so that I could alt place this mirror to the height that I wanted it to be because I still do not understand tool and I don't have it in my game right now because it kind of messed up my game for a bit and I finally got it to like quit being messed up um, and it was an issue. I don't know if you remember um, last year it was an issue for me um, and I just still don't understand it and it messed up my game so um, I think that one day I will try again. But for now, I'm just going to alt place things. Um, so we get that little built-in section with the pillows from the um, Modern Lux kit. And then we get these family photos around everywhere because, again, I think that this mom and her teen are just best friends. And they have photos everywhere of them and their pets. And I think that it's just them, really. Um, and I think that this is just really cute and I love this little hallway this little chair um I don't remember what pack that chair is from off the top of my head like I have a bunch in my head that it might be but I don't think any of those are right um but it had the perfect colors and now we are adding um some more things in this bed in this what is this, this is not a bedroom in this living room this is pink and mint and it's so pretty and then we just had some shoes over here I figured these are the uh teen shoes that she like took off when she was going to go take a shower and just left them there uh, because the mom does have the get famous wardrobes um like built-in closet in her bedroom so I think all of her shoes are there but the teen I think just took them off there and left them there when they went to take a shower or something uh, but this is going to be the hall slash guest bathroom where everyone can use this one and the teen uses this one and then the primary bedroom has its own bathroom with all the same stuff. Um, and we do see both on camera. But this is this one. And it has this double sink and a shower tub combo. We end up using the base game shower tub combo because it came in this like mint color. And I feel like it kind of matched the vibe. Um, and I really wanted a like clawfoot tub in this apartment. Because I thought like in a lot of my inspiration pictures for this color scheme, they had a clawfoot tub that was like painted like mint or pink or something. Um, so I did that at first, but then I realized I really wanted a shower in here also. So this is what we end up using. And I think that it looks really cute, um, even if it's one of the cheaper shower tub combos in the game or the cheapest shower tub combo. I really hope we get more because I would really love some more curtained shower tub combos. I think that would be really fun and really pretty. Um, and then we grab this piece of art from Decor to the Max and we 
clutter up this bathroom with the um, bathroom clutter kit just all over the bathroom. It looks so good and so cute and so lived in. And I really like the way that this bathroom comes out. I really like the way the whole apartment comes out. You'll have to let me know what you think about it. And if I did the concept of mint and pink justice, um, I think I did. I think it looks really good. I, I'm happy with it. Uh, I struggled for so long at the beginning for how I wanted to do this, but I think in the end it came out the way I pictured in my head. Um, it just took me a minute to do that. Uh, you do see here that now we have a table and chairs placed. Uh, I cut that out because I went through so many dining tables and so many chairs. I chose this dining table because it was more traditional and I was trying to mix in a few traditional pieces. Um, like the coffee table is a more traditional piece. Um, so I chose this table for that reason. And then these more modern chairs kind of mix the two together. And then we get this really pretty um, cabinet from Paranormal maybe? I, I think Paranormal, um, but I don't really remember. And then we get some coats over here in this built-in closet piece and some more shoes. I really think that the mom really likes shoes. So there's lots of shoe storage in this house. And then here we get a plant and mirror with a light above it. Um, the plant is from Cottage Living and the mirror we end up using is from Base Game. I thought I was gonna use this one, but it just didn't fit right. So I used this wall one and I use it again in the back hallway. Now this apartment complex has, you might see in the hallway, um, has, and I might, do like a little um, snippet in the next one to show you the communal spaces because I really like how they came out. But you might see that the communal spaces right outside this apartment have a lot of uh, washer dryers there. And there is the communal washer dryers, but I feel like um, they have a washer dryer in this unit and a couple other ones will probably have them in the unit. So I think that, um, that makes a lot of sense to have them in the unit. I know my mom lives in a more modern complex and while they have a laundry thing there, I believe that my mom's does. But um, if hers says that, I know someone else who lives in one of these kind of buildings that has a um, communal laundry space, like laundry room. And then in unit, you can also have a washer dryer. So that's what I thought for them. So I know that there's washer dryers right in the hallway, but um, I thought it made sense for them to have one as well. Plus they came in pink and mint. Uh, this is going to be the teens room. This bed was perfect. Um, it has the pink, it has the kind of minty blue, and I struggled for a minute with what um, side table to use, but I think that this one looked really cute and had the pink, and then I think I used, do I use the mint desk or do I use the white desk? I don't remember. This room has um, pinks and mints and whites and the cream colored wood, just like the rest of the apartment. The, like I said, the apartment's color scheme is very um, cohesive because I feel like they decorated it together. Um, so we get this wardrobe from the four rent pack. We get this lamp from Blooming Rooms. I thought it looked really, really cute and really pretty and kind of brought in um, the modern. But you can see with the desk and the kid, the teen's bed, those are more like traditional pieces. And then like the nightstand is modern, the chair and the poof are modern and the lamp is modern. Um, so I think that that concept came together really well. The like pink, mint, traditional, modern kind of vibe really was really cohesive in this build and I'm so happy with it. Um, this is going to be where the teen's desk is. They have some books and a lamp and a candle. And then we grab a rug. We grab some clutter on the nightstand and some posters from, oh, sorry, I have an alarm going off. I do have therapy in 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna have time to finish this um, voiceover all in one go, but hopefully I don't repeat myself. Um, cause I tend to do that. If I leave a voiceover and then come back, I tend to end up repeating myself cause I don't remember what I said. Same thing happens if I have to redo a voiceover. Let me know if you do the same thing, but I grabbed this Fox lamp in this pink swatch. I thought it was really cute. I thought maybe it was something that they had from when they were a kid. And then the posters are all mostly from, um, high school years. And then I put their little journal under their nightstand. I figured that's where they keep it to hide it. Um, not really from their mom, you know, because their mom would never invade their trust like that because they're besties but I think that that's just you know a typical thing that kids do is hide their journals I knew I always hid mine growing up um because also I had little brothers so <laughs> uh I had them from them but also from my parents but also like no one was ever going to go in my room and read my journals but I think it's just what you do you know you have a journal you hide it 
not because you don't trust the people you live with, but just because that's just what you do. <laughs> you hide your journals. So this is going to be the mom's room. I love this one first nightstand we put down. It has the pink and the mint. It has a little bit of yellow, but um, I think that that went really well with the rug that I had in here. And then we do use this like pink bar cart next to a little sofa that goes ends up going under the um, the, the, the window. I was going to say mirror. And then I use these um, pieces from Get Famous that I don't know that I've ever, ever used. But I thought that they fit really nicely. I think that the bed is more traditional. And then um, the rest of the furniture in here is more modern. And I thought I was going to, I should have used that other um, vanity, but I wanted to use one, this one that I've never really used before. And then we get kind of a more like modern-y ish chair that has like the light wood and then cement in it. I really wanted to use a four poster bed with all the, um, like the posters and the frame because I thought that it would fill up this big room really nicely and look really cute. Uh, so that's why we're using this bed. It is from For Rent. And then the vanity is from um, the Modern Lux kit. And then so is this nightstand to the left. The one to the right is from Get, not Get Famous, City Living. It's from City Living. Um, and then we're just grabbing some lamps. We use the same mirror that we use in the kids' room in here. I tried to use a different one, but it just, none of them were working. So I used the same one because I knew that it was going to look cute and work really well in here. Um, but I think that it looks really nice. So I think it's okay. Maybe they bought them together. And then this couch was just not working. The colors weren't working. It wasn't working. So I don't really remember which one we ended up using. I think this one from the pastel pop kit. That's what that's from, right? And then we grab a cat scratcher and a little bed for the cat or the dog to lay in. Um, and then we add a couple of plants and a lamp and some clutter on the vanity. And then I think we move on either to the bathroom or the hallway. Uh, the very last thing we do is the um, backyard because I was struggling for a minute. It took me a minute to figure out the backyard because it's a pretty big backyard for an apartment building to have, but that's just kind of how it laid out in this build. Um, and I thought for a minute about breaking it up some more and making some more of it more public space, but I didn't in the end, um, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, you will notice throughout this build possibly and the next one and all the rest of them that I kind of am working on the exterior of this build as I go. I did a lot of it at first, mainly just like the structure and then I've been working on the exterior on and off um, as I do the interiors because I just needed a break from the exterior because I didn't know what I wanted to do with a lot of it and then I remembered that I needed a pool. And that really helped a lot with the big giant space that I had. But this is going to be the little hallway with the washer dryer and just some like a closet, not closet, um, like a coat rack right here for the little mud room. And then we get um, this wall piece from, oh, this adding in here, it's pink and mint and it fit there perfectly. It was so cute. I'm so glad I added that and uh, thought of that. But we end up, I thought I was going to add like some of the matching count, uh, cabinet pieces from Island Living, but they didn't work on this wall space. It was a very small wall space. So we use this from Eco Lifestyle, I think. It is just a really thin thing and it has like books on it and looks really cute. And then the shelf is from Paranormal. Uh, Paranormal has a lot of pink and mint swatches, so we used a lot of Paranormal in this build. Um, but this is just some uh, clutter and then we grab a plant and uh like two plants i think and then that same mirror from the front entry um by the teens room we add that on the wall in here with the same light over it and i think that it looks really cute and then i think we do the bathroom the other bathroom real quick before we move on outside the bathroom is just the same it has all the same fixtures and everything just a couple more clutter pieces because it's a bigger room like we add um a big cabinet in the corner by the bathtub shower combo and just um a sh the what is it shelf from i don't know what that noise i just made was what is the bathroom shelf from the, the like the bathroom sh tiny living oh i got there in the end this shelf from tiny living um and then a bunch of clutter from the bathroom clutter kit up here and then we grab a rug that matches the one in the other room and that bathroom cabinet right here we just put it in the white swatch i think because the other swatches just were not the same colors 
as the rest of the apartment. Um, it wasn't the right pink or mint, so uh, we put it in the white swatch. And now we have moved on to the outside. You can see that I put um, a stove, stove, grill, a grill. And then we kind of cut forward a little bit because, again, I struggled with the dining table. I was not sure what dining table to use. So we end up using this one, um, which I think is from Base Game. And then we grab this, which I don't know what pack this is from, Perfect Patio maybe, but it has the pink and the kind of minty-ish pillow. Um, and then that trash can ends up being um, gone. We move the trash can and we end up putting um, the litter box there. And then we grab a rug and kind of use a greenish swatch, I think, uh, possibly. I thought I tried to use, no, we get pink. There's not really a lot of mint in this um, porch, but we do move on to the backyard and we add a bunch of planners. This table is perfect. It's mint and pink. It is perfect. Um, and then we use like some of the similar chairs, I think, but in a, a lighter swatch. I thought that the, the mint wood was too much. So we use this one with like the pink and mint cushions on it. Um, and then we add a bunch of flower boxes, not over here. Over here, we end up getting some gardening items. And then they have bees, just because the bees came in pink. And I thought that they needed something else back here. Um, and then on the lot, there ends up being behind this area, there's a swing set and a um, monkey bar. But because I thought that this was a teen, I didn't put any of that here. They get a hot tub and these little lounge chairs in the mint color. Um, and then just some, like a cat tree out here also for the cat to come play on. I don't think the cat leaves the lot. Um, the cat just, like in real life, the cat wouldn't leave the lot. Obviously the cat probably leaves the lot in The Sims, <laughs> but it'll come back. But here's where we get all the gardening stuff. And then we add some um, flowers from the landscaping section of the game to the planters and kind of change the swatches. And um, I really should have added a flower arranging table after I added all of the flowers because that would have made sense, but it's okay. Um, here we add some more plants and then we add a couple of pieces of landscaping under those trees at the front of the lot. Or not the front of the lot, but the front of this area. Um, here are all the flowers we're adding. We get some roses in different colors and then these other various flowers. I just thought that they looked pretty and they had different colored swatches, so I thought that it worked really well. We grabbed some grass and some lavender. I feel like she definitely planted the lavender there because um, there's not really lavender on the rest of the lot. But this is about it for the build. I hope that you liked it and enjoy this apartment complex. I'm excited to show you guys the rest of it. Enjoy the screenshots. I love you guys so, so much. I'm so proud of you. You're doing amazing. And yeah, all my links are down below if you want to come hang out on Twitch, Twitter, or Discord. Um, and I also play Minecraft on Twitch so and Sims, but usually Minecraft. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this build. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.